Today, I'll show you how to purchase Shinkansen train tickets online from Kluke. So why book on Kluke? First, it's super easy to find what you're looking for on Kluke. All you need to do is enter your starting point and your destination. This could be either the city or the train station and chances are it's gonna know what you're talking about. Checking out is Breeze. It's super easy since they have multiple forms of payment, not just by credit card, but you can pay with Apple Pay, Google Pay, and so on. And so far, this is the easiest method that we've come across to purchase Shinkansen tickets. Kluke sell tickets for all 2,900 plus Shinkansen train routes throughout Japan. I don't know of any other service that does this. You name it, pretty much anywhere you want to go in Japan, you can book those Shinkansen bullet train tickets on Kluke. The Kluke website has been translated into multiple languages. This makes it really easy for people to book tickets. So how do I buy Shinkansen tickets online with Kluke? Let's go through an example on the web app, but using the mobile app is just as easy. And I'll put a direct link in the description below of where you can buy these tickets. All right, so we're on the Kluke website here. I like the system because it's really smart. So if you are not sure of the name of the stations you need to go to, you can just click here and it will give you a list of places. But the default is always think about where you're starting from and where you're going to. So let's just say we're going from Tokyo and we'll choose Tokyo and we want to go to Osaka. Now you'll notice that there's no actual station for Osaka, but there is one called Shin Osaka. So this is going to be the correct one. A lot of times the name of the city is not the name of the station. So just start typing in the name and there's a very good chance that the system is smart enough and we'll be able to choose the right thing. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go from Tokyo to Osaka. And again, the name of the station is Shin Osaka. We're gonna go ahead and select departure date here of the 25th of October. Let's go ahead and click search and it will give us a list of available train times. Now from here at the departure time, let's choose a different time between 9 and 2 p.m. because I don't like getting up really early. <laughs> and let's scroll down here a little bit. And if you watched one of our other videos about uh, getting from Tokyo to Osaka, you'll be familiar with this 9.33 time. Anyways, I like to go around this time in the morning. However, if you look one below it, there's also a 9.39 time. Now look over here. The name of this train is the Hikari 637. And if you look across the way, the cost is 13,870 yen. Now right below that is the Nozomi 217. It is also 13,870 yen. If you're familiar with the JR Pass, you know that the Nozomi was never included. And as of the 1st of October, it is now included at an extra cost. But look at this. You can ride it for the exact same price if you are purchasing your tickets separately. So this is really cool. And as you will notice also is that the Hikari takes two hours and 54 minutes and the Nozomi two hours and 27 minutes. So of course, let's go ahead and take the Nozomi even though it leaves six minutes later, it's going to arrive about a half an hour before this Hikari at 9.33. So let's go ahead and choose this. And it'll give us the options of where we can choose a non-reserved seat on ordinary car, which is second class, or a reserved seat in ordinary car, second class, or even the first class, which is the green car. Now, one thing to note is if you look up here at the ordinary car class, you can see that the cost of the reserved seat is more. This is by default. The JR Pass, it is included in the price, but once you start purchasing tickets separately, reserved seating is more. Also, is if you decide to purchase a reserved seat through Kluke, you do not get to choose your seats. Instead, what the system does is it tries to choose the best available seat for you, and if you are traveling in a group, it will try to group you all together. If you've purchased your ticket within the 30 days of traveling, so you purchase your ticket today and you're gonna be riding the Shinkansen in the next 30 days, then you can check the Kloop mobile app and it will tell you your seat reservation. The web app does not offer this information at this time. If you're not happy with your seat reservation, once you get to Japan and you're at the ticketing machine, you can choose different seats. Or if it's easier for you, you can go to the ticketing office and they can change your seats for you as well. All right. Now that we know this, I'm going to go ahead and choose an unreserved seat. And up here, you can see the adult price is 13,870 yen and the child is 6,935, which is half. On the right side, we get more details about our trip. It's at 9.39 in the morning and arrives at 12.06 at Shin Osaka Station. This is the Nozomi 217 and the time is 2 hours and 27 minutes. Now, if you look down a little bit further, we have a breakdown of the cost. You can see that the cost again is 13,870 yen. However, right below it, there is this fulfillment fee and it is 10% at 1,387 yen. This is a fee charged by Kluke. However, even with this fee that Kluke charges, this price is still very competitive. And to help offset that, they give you a couple of freebies. The first is a big camera discount coupon of up to 10%. You can use this coupon on a lot of items. However, you cannot use it on any Apple items, <laughs> but we did save a lot when we used it last time in Japan. And you also get a Don Quixote discount coupon of up to 5%. There is a very high chance you will be going to Don Quixote. So this extra 5% would be nice to have as well. And that would certainly help offset 
this extra fee of 1,387 yen. We do have a discount for you. Use coupon code KENSHOWQUEST during checkout and you will save 5% off of your purchase. And you can use that code also for a lot of different other purchases on Kluke. And depending on your journey, you will be given different options of how you can pick up your tickets. If you are traveling on the golden route from Tokyo to Kyoto and or Osaka, then you will most likely be using the QR code method. If you are traveling anywhere north from Tokyo, you will be using the QR code method. Let's see how this QR code works. You'll receive an email like this one and it will contain a QR code, as well as instructions of how to use the reserve ticketing machines. We used it here in Tokyo and there were multiple options, but it was still pretty easy. So just as a backup, you might want to have this link readily available on your phone, just in case you need a little extra assistance. To get your ticket, you need to visit a reserved ticketing machine that will look something like this. And just in case, because sometimes machines won't show correctly in your language, you should have the Google Translate app installed on your phone and also download the Japanese language just in case you don't have an internet connection. This way, in the unlikely event that the ticketing machines are not showing correctly in your language, you can translate it right there on the spot. First, find the reserve ticketing machine. It must be a reserve ticketing machine and choose your language. Then choose read QR code. If that's not available, choose pick up tickets. Then choose JRE's train reservation and then QR code. Next, scan your QR code from your mobile device. And as you can see here, you're going to get two tickets. The first one is the base fare. This you can consider similar to like riding the local trains. Now, when you ride something like the Shinkansen in this case, a super express train, you have a separate ticket. That's why you have two tickets. Now you need to take both of these two tickets and insert both of these into the machine. Without that, you cannot ride the Shinkansen. If you purchased a reserve ticket, then you will get three tickets actually. Well, actually the third one is not a ticket. It's your seat reservation. And the third one, you just hang on to it as it has your car number and your seat reservation. Hang on to this just in case the attendant asks to see it when you're in the train. There are two other methods, and this depends on where you are traveling within Japan. Anywhere south from Shin Osaka Station, the other two methods are either mail delivery within Japan, so this would be sent to your hotel, or if you're way far south near Fukuoka, then you'll pick it up at the Fukuoka airport. Another cool thing about purchasing on Kluke is the system is pretty smart that it can tell if there's no Shinkansen available and may offer you an express train instead. For instance, if you were traveling from Kyoto to Kanazawa, there currently is no Shinkansen that will go that full route. So you would have to take the Thunderbird Express. By entering Kyoto in Kanazawa, it already knows that. And here you can see Thunderbird Express is available, which is an express train. If you have oversized luggage and you are traveling from Tokyo anywhere on down south, then you will need to reserve a dedicated seat for your luggage. Any piece of luggage that is larger than a combined length width and depth of 160 centimeters is considered oversized and you must reserve a special seat for your luggage. Now when you purchase your tickets through Kluke, you cannot actually get this assigned. So what I recommend is still purchase a reserve seat and then once you get to Japan, go to the ticketing office and tell them that you need a special seat since you have oversized luggage. It's possible they might charge you a little bit extra for this. To summarize, purchasing Shinkansen tickets from Kluke is very easy, especially if you're traveling on the Golden Route, which goes from Tokyo to Kyoto and or Osaka, where you can just scan your QR code. Now remember, if you're traveling south of Shin Osaka, then you're going to have the options of delivery by mail or picking it up at Fukuoka Airport. And you can pre-order your tickets up to 90 days in advance, which could be a very big selling point for some of you. Let us know your questions in the comments below. Next, you might be interested in our guide to purchasing either a pocket Wi-Fi or a SIM or eSIM or mistakes to avoid in Japan. We are a slow traveling family. We have a ton of videos to help you with your travels in Japan and throughout Southeast Asia. So please subscribe.